the interview brought people out to the theater Christmas Day. A local man bought $600 worth of movie tickets to sell online, but his plans to make a buck backfired. Nine on your side's Tony Moronis explains. Whether it was for entertainment, I like Seth Rogen's work, or curiosity, moviegoers bought tickets to see the interview. Jason Best bought 50 of them, not to watch the flick, but to make a quick buck. I saw all the hype about the interview on the 23rd and thought, hey, uh, folks are selling these tickets in other cities. Um, seems like uh, that's the thing to do right now. And why not give it a shot just to see uh, how it goes? It didn't go over very well. The movie was released online, so the demand for tickets dropped. Once Jason realized that the investment wasn't what he thought it would be, he tried to return the tickets to the Esquire Theater. Management said no, so Jason called his credit card to dispute the charge. Uh, which I really didn't want to do. Um, so I did that. The credit card company said the charges are still pending. Once they post to the account that I should go ahead and dispute, and they felt that I was in the right in the situation. The theater's president, Gary Goldman, told me that the return policy is for customers and that Jason is not a customer. Instead, he's a businessman who tried to recoup a loss at the theater's expense. I would like to see going forward them clearly marking uh, their refund policy, which tickets are non refundable and why. The theater says it's the principle of the matter, not the ticket money. They won't refund the money, but is willing to donate it to charity. Jason said no, that would be financially irresponsible. Tony Moronis, nine on your side.